All right, so this is a tutorial on Sculptress, uh, and we're going to make an animal, okay? So first thing I would do even before you even go in here is actually go ahead and just go online and search a bunch of pictures. I did. I made a folder uh, just called Animal. Um, really, it should be your last name, and then, oops, okay, let's try it again. It should be your last name, so Cone, really Animal. Okay, that's what the folder should look like. And then in there, I made a, a folder called Reference Images or Ref Images, and then basically I have a bunch of these pictures. Um, and it's just to give me an idea of what the sloth looks like. I'm going to do a sloth because they're gross and stuff. Um, and I think they're funny. So another thing that's really good to get actually is a skeleton. So, you know, my use, I usually grab anatomical drawings and stuff as well. All right. So we're going to call that good. I'm just going to minimize that. Um, and we will minimize that. All right. So here is a uh, sculptress. So just make sure that I would just go ahead and use the default material that's here. If it will work. All right. I'm not sure. There it goes. Uh, let's make sure you got the default material. It's just the best to work with. Um, also, make sure you have symmetry on. Uh, just make sure this is on. And then we're just going to be using the draw, which is D. You can see if you hover over each one of these, they'll tell you what the letters are. So you might want to use those. Most of the time, you're just going to use this and grab. Okay. So the first thing to do is to go ahead and um, let's make this a little bit smaller um, to just get the general body shape, more or less the torso. Uh, section so I'm just gonna kind of turn this sideways like so if um let's see if I hold shift you can actually see the word down here as I rotate it'll actually snap to specific views so uh, I would just make sure you do right or left um, so that way it's snapped to that uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit G for grab or you can just click on here okay now the one thing I'm gonna be you'd be aware of is this is that when you hit the letter so let's say I hit D it'll switch to draw okay but if I hit it again you'll see it'll turn into clay mode okay so what that means is that when I get in here and I draw, uh, you can see how it's kind of round. But if it's clay, you'll see that it's kind of flat. It's like layers of clay you're putting on. Okay. Now, the reason why that matters is that a lot of times if you go into grab, you might hit G and you can see it pulls like this. Okay. But if you have this on, you hit it twice, it'll just move the object. It's global. Okay. So just be aware of that. And that goes for rotate and stuff too. So um, if I have it like this, that's fine. But if it's global, it's actually going to... Um, you'll see it'll actually rotate the object, okay, which isn't really what you want. So just make sure that you don't have this generally on. I'm not as huge a fan of that, so I'm just going to turn this sideways. Um, I'm going to back this up. So I'm, I'm holding um, Alt, clicking, start to drag it, and then let go of Alt, and that'll zoom back out, okay? Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and use Grab, and I'm going to, it must be really big, so I'll hit Spacebar, and I'm going to click and drag down. Okay. Now you can actually click on this. You can click on these to adjust the strength and stuff. But if you just click left and right or up and down, you don't actually have to go up there to do it. Okay. So it's a kind of handy. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of, oops, see, I have it on global. So I hit G again to get global back off. All right. And I'm just going to kind of hold this body. I'm going to take my picture here and I'm going to go back. I'm just going to find one that's kind of a body shot. And I'm going to go ahead and put this actually over on, oops, not that one over on the other monitor I have so but you won't see it but I will I know it's there okay um all right so that looks like that and I'm gonna have to grab and pull this out a little bit we got a bit of a like a bit of a gut it looks like a little bit of a rump so I'm gonna kind of pull that up okay so I'm just kind of clicking and pulling um maybe you make this back a touch flatter so I'll push that down a little bit and let's see pull this out a little bit so we're going to call that good. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is that for each limb, I'm just going to draw. So I'm going to use the draw tool. You can click up here or hit D. Uh, I'm going to draw uh, where the limbs come out. Okay. So we're going to put a leg right here. Okay. Just little nublets. I got some. Okay. Good. I got symmetry on. And then right here for the shoulder. Okay. That's great. And then I need one for the head. Okay. And they don't have, oh, they do have a little bit of a tail like thing. I'm going to hold space bar. Click and drag down a little bit. They don't have much of a tail, but they have a little bit of one. Okay and it looks like a fat platypus or something but what we need to do now is more or less try to get um oops, not that one uh try to get the shapes more correct okay so i'm gonna head back to the grab tool do i hit in g um and hold space bar uh, let me see space bar there it is okay um you can actually if you have a wacom tablet they'll have hotkeys on the side so um I'm trying to think where is that button here this one yeah, you'll have buttons on the side, so you can see mine has these side buttons. You can't see it on the actual monitor, but uh, you might have something like that um, uh, that is hooked up. So if you want to try and just use just the tablet, you can do that, or you can just use the keyboard. 
Uh, usually I use something of a combination. All right, so I just, okay. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna take this nublet and I'm gonna pull this down like so. I'm gonna take this nublet, pull this one down like so. And then I'm gonna take this nublet and I'm gonna kinda, this one needs a little more loving. And we're gonna kinda try and get that to be a little bit more like what the thing is here. All right, all right, good, all right. All right, and then he's got a little bit of a tail here, so I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna hold space bar and pull that back a little, and just kind of get this space bar pull that up a little. All right, okay, wonderful. All right, they are lumpy looking animals. Okay, so I still got the grab tool, and what I'm gonna do is just try to make the general leg shape here. So if you can see it's a little bit outside, so I'm gonna pull that in a little. Um, same thing with his arm. Let me pull that shoulder up a little bit. Pull that up. Pull this kind of forward a little, okay. And hold the space bar, space bar, sorry. Hold space bar, and we're gonna go like that, all right. So just to try and get his legs more or less sort of the right shape, and uh, make that a bit bigger, and then make that one a little bit lower, kind of like that, okay. All right. So we get kind of the shapeish that we're looking for, all right. So that's something of a, a shape, all right. So you can see we already have kind of the body shape without doing too much awful work, okay? So um, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start using the draw tool, okay? And I'll try to build up the forms as much as I can. So I hit D or you can click up there. And I'll space bar, make this a little bit bigger. And what I'm going to do is just try to do big things first. So I'm just going to kind of click and draw because that needs to be built up a little bit right there. And then after you do a stroke almost every time, see how like the, the surface when I roll across it, there's like imperfections. If you hold shift and then click and drag, that's smooth. So almost every time that you draw a stroke, you should almost smooth it, okay? Um, there are times when I don't, but for the most part, I almost always do. Uh, it almost always needs it, okay? So smooth that out. Sloths are kind of a weird animal. Okay, so I'm going to push this in a little bit. So in order to do that, I'm going to hold Alt and click on it, and that will actually push inwards as opposed to outwards, okay? And then I'm going to hold Shift to smooth that, like so. All right, and you can see how that kind of works. I'm going to hold Shift to kind of push that in. Shift to kind of push that in. Sometimes you shift just as almost like a subtractive. It's like a weaker subtractive. Um, oops, wrong one. All right, and then uh, let's go ahead and, oops, not that one. So, uh, where are you? Oh, make it a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to kind of draw sort of a rib cage thing there. Um, then we got to make this leg a little bit better. I'm going to hold shift, okay, and give them some, some buttocks here. All right, and that's okay. Needs a little more meat on his bones, I think. So I'm going to kind of smooth that out after. Oops. And we'll kind of do that. All right, so I'm just trying to get it to, you know, have a little more depth to it. I'm going to go ahead and hold Alt while I kind of click in here. And then I'll hold Shift to kind of smooth that out. All right. Okay, and then we'll build up here a little bit. Break that down a little. All right, all right, and we'll hold uh, shift to smooth that still. I'm gonna hold alt just to kind of cut that in. I'll do more with the head later once I know more what I'm looking for. All right, and we'll do a little more there. Hold shift to kind of bring that back a touch. Okay, um, it doesn't look like they really have much for ears. Okay, so we're gonna call that like kind of the, oh, he needs fingers, okay. Um, so yeah, we're gonna kind of have to, uh, where are we brush size, there we go. Um, okay, so kind of make that a little bit bigger, hold shift to smooth that. All right, get a little more hand here. Oof, a little strong. Okay, all right, and then we'll smooth this out a little bit too. Okay, let's see, that's a little too strong. Okay, uh, make sure you're constantly rotating around. All right, so now I just need to make these fingers here. So I'm going to do, I guess, a three toed. So I'm, again, it's kind of the same process. Just draw nublets for, for each piece here. Make sure it looks okay. It doesn't, but I don't really care. Um, and then just use the grab tool. So I'm going to use grab, and I just got to make sure that it's as small as basically the knuck knuck that you're going to pull. Take this. I'm just going to kind of pull that down. You see, it didn't work, so I got to make it a little bit smaller. I want that space bar in order to um, get what I need to make it like the perfect size. I want to make sure I don't cut into the other one as well. All right good grab this one 
good. And then we'll grab this one. Good. Okay. And those need more love, but we're going to call that good for now. Um, all right. And we need to do the same thing here. Okay. All right. Uh, so am I on the draw tool? I'm not. So I'm going to D for the draw tool. Make this a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to kind of uh, let's shift then afterwards just to make sure I got enough meat on there to more or less try to get this going. Okay, so then I'm going to go back to the draw tool. Um, oh, I was on the draw tool apparently, so hit D again because I don't know if you saw it with clay up there. So uh, draw a nublet, draw a nublet, and draw a nublet. Go back to the grab tool and grab a nublet, grab a nublet, and grab a nublet. Okay, something like that. Okay. So, well, there we go. So we have most of the basics there, okay? Uh, and it might be a good time, too, just to grab the grab tool and, oops, I'm apparently on, I was on the grab tool, uh, and just make some adjustments. Like, if you're like, okay, it looks a little bad, or, you know, you might notice there's some body problems. Like, this looks a little bit high to me. I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. Oops. There. All right, things like that. Okay. That looks good. All right. Now what I'm going to do is go up here, and I am going to mostly just work on his face for right now so that you guys have something to see. Um, so I'm going to look at my pictures here, and um, not that one, this one. Bring this back over. Okay, so this is obviously uh, a guy. So I'm going to find, I have like a good picture of just his face. So if there's parts that you need to know, like, you know, take, you know, look for pictures that are specifically of like the hands, if they have complicated hands. So he looks really happy. So we're going to go ahead and do this guy. Um, so this is what I'm looking at, um, and yeah, so I'm just going to put this back over here, just so you can kind of see what I'm working with. Um, all right, and let's get to it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and use that draw tool, and I'm going to work on making his nose and muzzle and all that business, okay? So I'm just going to kind of draw, I'm going to hold shift after to smooth, um, he's got a little bit of this kind of thing here. I'm going to hit shift to smooth. All right. And then uh, go like this. It's a good idea to kind of, if you know anatomy, there's usually like, there's the ramus of the jaw, which is more or less the jaw line here. The ramus is actually this part, but um, it's a good idea to try to utilize that whenever possible. And then I'm going to hold alt to kind of push in where his eyes get sunken in a little bit. And then I'm going to pull this one out. Okay. And I'm going to kind of and then usually there's a zygomatic arch or cheekbones. So I'm going to kind of add a little bit of that there. Um, it's got kind of a roundish head. So I'm going to add a little bit up here. To kind of. All right. And then, oops, undo. Uh, hold shift to smooth. All right. There's really not a lot going on as far as his face is concerned. Now they do kind of have hair going right here too. So I'm going to kind of see if I can work something like that in there. That looks terrible. If I do that. Um, all right, let's smooth that out. I'm just going to do rough strokes for what their hair kind of looks like. Okay. All right, and I'm going to hit the grab tool. And I'm just going to pull this down a little bit. And then we're going to go back to the draw tool and build that up just a touch. To give them a little bit more of a stronger brow. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to kind of have these eyes pull out, right, and have eyelids and things like that, but it might be kind of hard to do that. So what I'm going to do is use the mask, okay? So if you hold control, uh, this one? Yeah, you'll see you'll get this black thing, right? Okay, and then what that means is now when I sculpt, it won't let me a sculpt. It won't let me a sculpt. It won't let me sculpt that chunk, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually, if I hold control and I tap out here, it'll invert my mask. Sorry, there you go. It'll invert it, right? Now if I hold control and click and drag, it'll clear the mask, okay? So you can use those various things to do that. Um, so I am going to just draw where I want the eyes to be, and then I'll mask it, all right? So, um, so I'm going to kind of draw a little bit. Um, which one is that? was this one. There it goes. All right. Um, space bar down a little. And OK, we're going to stay like that, all right? And now what I'm going to do is actually mine the draw tool. Good. I am going to kind of draw roughly. I think the eyelid should be underneath, and then I'm going to make this a little bit smaller and draw some eyelids there. Um, I'm going to make uh, another video, all right? So watch the next one.